So let's look at another of the esters in beer, isoamyl acetate. Isoamyl acetate imparts a banana-like character to beer. Although the beer will smell of banana, this actually isn't a compound found in bananas themselves. The flavour compound in banana is slightly different. Nevertheless, it's a distinctive banana note from the ester isoamyl acetate. This chemical also goes by other names, isopentyl acetate and also 3-methylbutyl acetate, but the common name is isoamyl acetate. This flavour is produced by yeast during fermentation, and the amount produced depends very much on the choice of yeast strain. Some yeast strains can produce a lot of isoamyl acetate and therefore a lot of banana character in beer while other strains produce much less. Even though your strain is capable of producing a lot of this compound, the fermentation conditions are what determines how much will be produced. To produce a lot, in addition to having a high potential yeast strain, you have to starve the yeast of oxygen and also make the warts as bright as possible coming from your louter tun or mash tun. It's that absence of oxygen and lipid that allows the yeast to produce a lot of isoamyl acetate. This is also a flavour which is produced more easily when the fermenter depth is shallow. So if you have a small fermenter with a wort depth of perhaps only six foot or two metres, you'll get a lot of isoamyl acetate produced. But if you have a deep fermenter, perhaps 20 metres deep, you'll have much less isoamyl acetate produced. This is a flavour that consumers often like. It's a positive flavour of beer. And some beer styles contain a lot of this compound. For example, German wheat beers, whether they're with yeast, Hefeweizen, or without yeast, Christoweizen, contain a lot of isoamyl acetate. That compound occurs together with a second compound, which gives a clove characteristic to beer, called 4 vinyl glycol But of course, many lager beers Premium lager beers especially also contain isoamyl acetate, as do some ales. Traditional ales produced in the Burton Union system tend to have high levels of this compound too. So a positive ester characteristic, a fruity character characteristic which consumers enjoy. This flavour is only produced by yeast. It's not coming from the raw materials. It's not produced from contaminant microorganisms. To control the level, you have to control your yeast strain, you have to control your fermentation. When evaluating this flavour, the best way to find it is to cover the glass with a hand, swirl the glass around and take a two second sniff. The intensity of the banana character is increased by this technique. Another way is to use the retronasal technique to hold your nose, breathe in, take the sample into your mouth, and then breathe down through your nose. Let me show you. This gives an intense banana character in your mouth. When tasters get confused with this flavour, they'll tend to confuse the flavour with other esters. For example, they confuse the banana flavour of isomyl acetate with the apple flavour of ethyl hexanoate. Of course, when you have the flavours side by side to learn them, you're much less likely to confuse them. And that's the best way to train on this compound. So isoamyl acetate is a positive character in beer. You either want a lot there to give a banana character, or you don't want it there. But whatever you've decided upon for your brand, you have to achieve that consistently by controlling your brew house operations and the clarity of your wort, and also by controlling your fermentation. By maintaining the fermentation conditions in a consistent way, you'll get a consistent level of isoamyl acetate.